So some people have suggested that perhaps at Mohenjo-daro some type of a nuclear blast occurred. History, it seems, is an ever-evolving puzzle, with pieces constantly being unearthed that defy the picture we thought we knew. Archaeologists, despite their years of study and experience, are regularly met with discoveries so extraordinary they rewrite the narratives of entire civilizations. These mind-boggling finds, shrouded in layers of earth and mystery, spark debates, fuel imaginations, and challenge the very limits of what we believe to be possible in the past. Join us as we uncover mysterious new discoveries that shocked archaeologists. Titans of the Stone Age The Mystery of Giant Hand Axes Buried in the soil of Spain lies a prehistoric puzzle that has archaeologists scratching their heads. At Porto Mayor, researchers unearthed hand axes that defy conventional wisdom, not because of their craftsmanship, but because of their sheer size. Dating back 300,000 years, these stone tools dwarf their contemporaries, measuring twice the size of typical hand axes from the era. So massive are these implements that early theories humorously suggested they must have been crafted by giants. While we can dismiss the notion of colossal hominids, the question remains, why did Homo heidelbergensis, our ancient relatives, create such oversized tools? Theories abound. Some experts propose these mammoth axes served specialized purposes, perhaps for butchering large game or digging deep into the earth. Others suggest a more intriguing possibility, that these tools were status symbols, a prehistoric flex of skill and strength. What's particularly fascinating is the lineage of these tool makers. The creators of these giant axes were ancestors to both modern humans and Neanderthals, suggesting this innovative approach to tool making may have influenced both evolutionary branches. The discovery of these colossal hand axes forces us to reconsider our assumptions about early human capabilities. It paints a picture of a species far more adaptable and ingenious than we often imagine, capable of tailoring their tools, not just for practical needs, but potentially for social purposes as well. Bizarre, alien-like skull. Imagine unearthing a mystery that challenges everything we know about human history. In 2014, South Korean archaeologists stumbled upon a shocking discovery, skulls that defied explanation. Among a collection of elongated craniums, one stood out like a prop from a sci-fi movie, an astounding 11 inches long and a mere 5 inches wide. This bizarre find sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Experts scratched their heads, unable to reconcile the skull's extreme proportions with known human variations. Sure, some ancient cultures practiced headbinding, but this? This was off the charts. The discovery ignited a firestorm of speculation. Had an unknown branch of humanity been hiding in plain sight? Or were we looking at evidence of extraterrestrial visitors? As wild as it sounds, even seasoned researchers couldn't rule it out entirely. Adding to the intrigue, DNA tests proved frustratingly inconclusive. The skull guards its secrets, leaving us to wonder about its true origins. Tides of Time The Enigmatic Petroglyphs of Wrangell On the shores of Wrangell, Alaska, an ancient art gallery emerges and vanishes with the rhythmic pulse of the tides. Welcome to Petroglyph Beach, where over 40 boulders bear the mysterious etchings of the Tlingit people, created some 8,000 years ago. These petroglyphs, with their simple yet captivating designs of spirals, circles, and abstract shapes, have puzzled researchers for generations. Their true meaning remains shrouded in mystery, sparking a range of theories that span from the practical to the spiritual. Some suggest these carvings served as territorial markers, a Stone Age no trespassing sign etched in rock. Others see them as historical records, possibly commemorating significant events like epic battles or natural disasters. Yet another school of thought proposes a more mystical purpose, 
linking the petroglyphs to the rich spiritual traditions of the Tlingit people, who believe in a world inhabited by spirits and supernatural beings. What adds an extra layer of intrigue to these ancient artworks is their tidal dance. Visible only when the sea retreats, these petroglyphs play a game of hide-and-seek with observers, revealing their secrets twice daily before being reclaimed by the waves. Whether we ever fully decipher their meaning or not, these petroglyphs remain a haunting whisper from the past, inviting us to ponder the lives and beliefs of those who came before us. Pyramid of Giza, the Energy Machine The Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the most iconic structures in human history, has long been shrouded in mystery and intrigue. While conventional wisdom holds that this magnificent monument was built as a tomb for the pharaoh Khufu, a growing body of evidence suggests that it may have served a far more extraordinary purpose, as a machine capable of harnessing and generating immense amounts of energy. The clues to this astonishing possibility are hidden in plain sight. The granite stones used in the pyramid's construction have been found to possess slightly radioactive properties, hinting at an otherworldly origin or purpose. The pyramid's inner chambers and passageways are lined with materials known for their electrical conductivity, such as dolomite and limestone, raising questions about the true nature of their design. Perhaps most intriguingly, the Great Pyramid is situated directly above a powerful underground energy source, the Giza Plateau, which is known to generate intense electromagnetic fields. This has led some researchers to speculate that the pyramid may have been designed to tap into and amplify these natural energies, creating a self-sustaining power plant of near-mythical proportions. Further fueling this captivating theory is the global distribution of analogous pyramidal structures and obelisks, ranging from the stepped pyramids of Mesoamerica to the enigmatic megalithic sites of ancient Europe. Some theorists propose that, collectively, these structures could have once constituted an ancient network for power and communication. The Gallenstein, a monolithic mystery in the heart of Europe. Rising from the German landscape like a stone sentinel, the Gallenstein Standing Stone has been a source of wonder and speculation for millennia. This 21.5 feet tall sandstone monolith, erected some 4,000 years ago during the Neolithic period, stands as the largest of its kind in Central Europe. The Gallenstein's weathered surface tells a tale of cultural layering with enigmatic carvings that span centuries, if not millennia. A prominent cross etched into its face hints at Christian influence, though its exact origin and age remain uncertain. More intriguing still is the carving of a human figure, which some interpret as a representation of Tyrannus, the Celtic god of thunder and lightning. Even the stone's name is shrouded in mystery. Historical records from as far back as the 16th century refer to it as Gallenstein. Yet the meaning and origin of this moniker have been lost to time. The Lost City in a Jungle in the dense, verdant jungles of Ecuador, where vines and centuries of growth conspired to hide the past, a remarkable discovery has emerged. In the early 2024, scientists unveiled the existence of an ancient city, one of the earliest known examples of urban agriculture in South America, nestled at the foot of the Andes Mountains. This groundbreaking find was made possible through the magic of LIDAR technology a laser-based system that can penetrate the jungle canopy to reveal the contours of the land beneath. What emerged from this high-tech survey was nothing short of astonishing. A complex network of thousands of small hills, intricate road systems, and neatly organized agricultural fields. The significance of this discovery cannot be overstated. It fundamentally alters our understanding of early urbanization and agriculture in South America pushing back the timeline for organized city living and communal farming in the region. This lost city joins a growing list of ancient urban centers being uncovered in the jungles of South America. Recent years have seen similar LIDAR-aided discoveries in Guatemala, Mexico, and Bolivia, each one peeling back another layer of the continent's rich pre-Columbian history. 
Each discovery not only illuminates the past, but also challenges us to reimagine the capabilities and complexities of ancient civilizations. The hunt for these hidden cities continues, promising to rewrite our understanding of human history, unlocking Herculaneum wisdom. In the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, a tragic moment in history became an unexpected time capsule. The eruption that obliterated Herculaneum in 79 AD also preserved a priceless library, transforming delicate scrolls into charcoal cylinders. For many years, no one could read what was written on these scrolls. The scrolls were too delicate to unroll. If someone tried to open them, they would crumble into dust. But now, scientists are using artificial intelligence to read the scrolls. Scientists have harnessed the power of machine learning to peer into these carbonized scrolls, revealing words and ideas long thought lost to time. This groundbreaking approach offers a non-invasive solution to a problem that has stumped researchers for generations. How to access the knowledge within without destroying fragile artifacts. The potential implications of this work are staggering. These scrolls, part of a renowned private library, may contain lost works of literature, unknown philosophical treatises, or scientific knowledge that was ahead of its time. Deciphering using AI is a painstaking process, but one that promises to bridge the gap between our world and that of our ancestors, offering insights into their thoughts, beliefs, and discoveries that have remained hidden for two millennia. Bronze Age Burial Mounds Across the Dutch countryside, an army of history enthusiasts is revolutionizing the field of archaeology. Armed with curiosity and guided by experts, participants in the Heritage Quest project are peeling back layers of time to reveal the secrets buried beneath their feet. Their most stunning achievement to date? The identification of 1,200 Bronze Age burial mounds, some dating back a staggering 4,800 years. These ancient monuments, carefully constructed from earth and stone, once served as the final resting places for society's elite. Now, they stand as silent sentinels, guarding the secrets of a long-lost era. This monumental discovery paints a vivid picture of the region's importance during the Bronze Age. Each mound represents not just a grave, but a window into the rituals, beliefs, and social structures of our ancestors. By studying these sites, archaeologists can glean invaluable information about Bronze Age diets, tool usage, and concepts of the afterlife. What sets Heritage Quest apart is its democratic approach to archaeology. By inviting everyday citizens to participate in the process of discovery, the project is breaking down barriers between experts and enthusiasts. This collaborative effort not only accelerates the pace of discovery, but also fosters a deeper connection between communities and their local history. As the project continues to unearth new sites, it's clear that the landscape beneath our feet is a vast, untapped historical archive. With each mound mapped and each artifact cataloged, we inch closer to a more complete understanding of our shared past, proving that when it comes to uncovering history, many hands make light and enlightening work. Nakshe Rustam, the Royal Necropolis of Kings. Deep in the heart of Iran, a series of towering rock-cut tombs stand as silent sentinels, guarding the secrets of an ancient civilization. This is Nakshe Rustam, the royal necropolis of the mighty Achaemenid and Sassanid dynasties, where the greatest rulers of ancient Persia lie in eternal slumber. Carved into the sheer cliff face, the tombs of Nakshi Rustam reflect the power and grandeur of the Persian Empire. Four massive crosses, each measuring over 80 feet in height, mark the final resting places of Darius the Great, Xerxes I, Artaxerxes I, and Darius II. These rulers presided over an empire that stretched from the Aegean Sea to the Indus River, and their tombs reflect the opulence and majesty of their reigns. But Nakshi Rustam is more than just a cemetery for kings. The cliff face is adorned with intricate reliefs depicting pivotal moments in Persian history. 
such as the victory of Shapur I over the Roman emperors Valerian and Philip the Arab. These carvings offer a glimpse into the triumphs and challenges faced by the Persian Empire and the skill and artistry of the craftsmen who immortalized them in stone. The Roswell Rock, an enigma from the desert. Picture this, a sun-baked expanse near Roswell, New Mexico, a town already steeped in UFO lore. In 2004, a discovery emerged that would reignite alien enthusiasts' imaginations worldwide. Enter the Roswell Rock, a palm-sized stone that defies easy explanation. This isn't your average pebble. Smooth to the touch, it bears intricate designs that mirror the complexity of crop circles. Those mysterious patterns that materialize in fields overnight, baffling farmers and researchers alike. The precision of these carvings is uncanny, featuring an intricate dance of crescents and circles that seem almost too perfect for human hands. But the real kicker? The rock's bizarre relationship with magnetism. Place it on a flat surface near a magnet and prepare to be amazed. It pirouettes and spins in ways that defy conventional physics, appearing to hover just above the surface. This magnetic waltz has sparked wild theories. Could this be a fragment of extraterrestrial technology crafted from materials unknown to Earth? Skeptics, of course, cry foul. They argue it's an elaborate hoax, a masterfully carved prop designed to fuel conspiracy theories. Yet, the rock's origins remain shrouded in mystery. Is it a cosmic message, a piece of otherworldly debris, or simply nature's art combined with human mischief? The Roswell Rock continues to spin, both literally and figuratively, at the center of a debate that shows no signs of slowing down. Saki, the lost city, emerges from the jungle's embrace. Deep in the lush Mexican jungle, a metropolis slumbered for over a millennium, its secrets guarded by dense foliage and the passage of time. Saki, once a thriving Maya powerhouse, vanished from human memory around 900 AD, leaving behind only whispers and legends. For decades, archaeologists combed the unforgiving terrain, chasing the ghost of a city that seemed determined to remain hidden. Spanning an impressive 100 acres, equivalent to 75 football fields, Saki thrived as a major metropolis, a bustling urban center teeming with life 2,500 years ago. It exemplified Maya ingenuity, boasting monumental temples, sprawling palaces, and a populace numbering in the thousands. This was a place where trade flourished, religious ceremonies enthralled the masses, and political machinations shaped the destiny of a civilization. Yet, like many Maya cities, Saki fell victim to a perplexing exodus. Its residents abandoned their homes, leaving a mystery that has puzzled scholars for generations. What force could compel an entire population to forsake such a magnificent city? In 2022, modern technology finally pierced the jungle's veil. Laser scanning and advanced imaging techniques revealed the ghostly outlines of Saki's grandeur, hidden beneath centuries of organic growth. This breakthrough has opened a new chapter in Maya studies, offering fresh insights into one of history's most captivating civilizations. The perplexing pipes of Mount Baigong, nature's plumbing or ancient tech, Deep in China's wilderness, Mount Baigong stands as a silent sentinel, guarding an enigma that has baffled experts for decades. Protruding from its rocky face, a network of pipes defies easy explanation. These are the Baigong Pipes, a geological oddity that challenges our understanding of ancient capabilities. Ranging from modest two-inch tubes to imposing 1.5-foot conduits, these reddish structures snake through the mountain with an eerie precision their clean edges and right angles whisper of intelligent design, sparking theories of forgotten civilizations or even extraterrestrial intervention. Yet, as with many mysteries, science offers a more grounded, if less thrilling, explanation. Natural processes involving iron-rich fluids could have forged these pipe-like formations over millennia. But doubts still linger. The Ubaid Lizardmen 
Reptilian Visitors or Ancient Imagination. Unearthed from the sands of Iraq, a collection of figurines has sent shockwaves through archaeological circles. Meet the Ubaid Lizard Men, 7,000-year-old statuettes that blur the line between humans and reptiles. Standing a mere three to five inches tall, these enigmatic figures boast an uncanny level of detail. Elongated craniums, almond-shaped eyes, and scaly skin adorn their forms, echoing modern depictions of extraterrestrial beings with unsettling accuracy. For some, these artifacts are smoking guns, tangible proof of ancient alien contact. Others see them as windows into the rich mythology of a long-lost culture, their reptilian features symbolic rather than literal. Whatever their true nature, the Ubaid Lizardmen force us to question our assumptions about ancient knowledge and experiences. Were they glimpses of visitors from the stars, or products of an imagination as vast as the Mesopotamian sky? The debate slithers on, as enigmatic as the figures themselves. The Quimbaya Artifacts, Ancient Aviators or Artistic Anomalies Imagine stumbling upon evidence that could rewrite the history of human flight. In the heart of South America, a collection of golden figurines has done just that. Welcome to the puzzling world of the Quimbaya artifacts. Crafted by the skilled metalworkers of the Quimbaya civilization some 1,000 years ago, these tiny gold objects bear an uncanny resemblance to modern aircraft. We're not talking vague, bird-like shapes here. These figurines sport distinctly aerodynamic designs, complete with wings, tail fins, and what appears to be landing gear. The level of detail is nothing short of astonishing, leaving experts scratching their heads. The implications are mind-boggling. Did extraterrestrial visitors grace the Quimbaya with advanced technological knowledge? Or, even more revolutionary, did this ancient civilization crack the code of powered flight millennia before the Wright brothers took to the skies? Skeptics naturally have their doubts. They argue that our pattern-seeking brains are simply seeing what we want to see, that these are merely stylized representations of birds or insects, their aircraft-like appearance a captivating coincidence. Yet, the debate rages on. The exquisite craftsmanship of the Quimbaya people is beyond question, but the true nature of their golden aircraft remains airborne in the realm of mystery. The Anunnaki Tablets, Cosmic Origins, or Creative Mythology Etched in clay and shrouded in mystery, the Anunnaki Tablets spin a tale that seems plucked from science fiction. These 6,000-year-old Sumerian artifacts weave a narrative of celestial beings, the Anunnaki, who descended to Earth in search of gold to save their dying planet. According to these ancient texts, the Anunnaki weren't content to merely mine. They allegedly tinkered with early human genetics, creating a more intelligent workforce to toil in their cosmic quest. This audacious claim has fueled theories of extraterrestrial intervention in human evolution, offering a provocative explanation for our species' rapid cognitive development. The tablets go further, describing Anunnaki human hybridization that supposedly gave rise to demigods and heroes of myth. It's a tantalizing proposition that bridges the gap between legend and potential cosmic reality. Mainstream scholars interpret the Anunnaki as purely mythological figures, emblematic of Sumerian religious beliefs. Yet the detailed nature of these accounts continues to intrigue those who seek alternative explanations for humanity's origins. Whether seen as literal history or elaborate mythology, the Anunnaki tablets serve as a fascinating glimpse into ancient minds, grappling with the same questions that drive us today. Who are we? Where did we come from? And are we alone in the universe? These narratives, etched in clay, continue to spark curiosity and ignite debate across generations. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. And he believed that uh, this area was the epicenter of something that he believed was an explosion. In the 1920s, 
Archaeologists unearthed the ruins of two ancient Indus Valley cities in Pakistan, Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa. This advanced civilization, over 4,000 years old, built complex cities with sophisticated infrastructure. However, a catastrophic event seems to have destroyed these cities. Archaeologists found evidence suggesting a swift and violent end, as if everyone perished instantly. This is one of the mysterious new discoveries that shocked archaeologists. Some researchers theorize a nuclear war, pointing to ancient Indian texts like the Mahabharata, which describes a weapon capable of devastating entire cities. What do you think caused the destruction? Let us know in the comments. The Baghdad Battery, Mesopotamian Marvel, or Modern Misinterpretation. Hidden within the annals of archaeological discovery lies an object that could rewrite the history of human technological advancement. The Baghdad Battery, a curious assemblage of ceramic pot, copper tube, and iron rod, has ignited a firestorm of speculation. Dating back to the Parthian or Sassanid periods between 200 BC and 650 AD, this unassuming artifact bears an uncanny resemblance to a modern electrical cell. Its discovery has led some to posit that the ancient Mesopotamians harnessed the power of electricity millennia before Alessandro Volta's groundbreaking work. Skeptics argue for more mundane explanations, suggesting the object may have been a vessel for sacred scrolls. Yet the tantalizing possibility of ancient electrical knowledge persists challenging our notions of technological progress and hinting at forgotten wisdom. The Cyrus Cylinder, Ancient Artifact of Freedom Imagine unearthing a 2,500-year-old clay tube that would shake our understanding of human rights. In 1879, amidst the dusty ruins of ancient Babylon, archaeologists made just such a discovery, the Cyrus Cylinder. This unassuming object, crafted in 539 BC, carries the weight of history. It bears the words of Cyrus the Great, the visionary Persian king who forged the largest empire the ancient world had ever seen. But it's not the cylinder's age that makes it extraordinary. It's its message. Etched in cuneiform script, the cylinder's text reads like a revolutionary manifesto. Here. Millennia before the Magna Carta, or the U.S. Constitution, we find what many consider to be the world's first declaration of human rights. Cyrus proclaims religious freedom, abolishes forced labor, and champions the dignity of his conquered subjects. This wasn't just ancient propaganda. Cyrus walked the talk. His empire became a model of multicultural tolerance, inspiring leaders for generations to come. Even America's founding fathers were in awe. Thomas Jefferson owned not one, but two biographies of the Persian king. The Cyrus Cylinder challenges our notions of progress, proving that the seeds of modern human rights were sown in the fertile crescent thousands of years ago. As we grapple with issues of liberty and justice today, this ancient artifact reminds us that the quest for human rights is as old as civilization itself. Tut's Celestial Dagger a blade forged in the stars. Among the glittering treasures of King Tutankhamun's tomb, one artifact outshines them all, not with gold, but with its otherworldly origins. A dagger, its golden handle fit for a pharaoh, conceals a secret in its gleaming blade, metal from the heavens themselves. Crafted around 1350 BC, this iron dagger predates Egypt's Iron Age by two millennia, presenting an archaeological puzzle. The solution came from the stars. X-ray analysis revealed high nickel content, a telltale sign of meteoric iron. This cosmic metal, a gift from the sky, was hammered into a blade fit for a king. The dagger's existence challenges our understanding of ancient metallurgy. Its creators, working without the benefit of iron smelting technology, showcased remarkable skill in shaping this unearthly material. More than a weapon, it stands as a bridge between the terrestrial and the cosmic, a tangible link to the mysteries above. In King Tut's hands, 
This stellar blade likely represented divine favor, a weapon forged from the body of a fallen star. Today, it continues to captivate a shining example of ancient craftsmanship and cosmic wonder. The stone heads of Mount Nemrut, a colossal mystery in the clouds. Picture a windswept mountaintop in Turkey where colossal stone heads gaze eternally into the distance. Welcome to Mount Nemrut, home to one of archaeology's most spectacular and perplexing sites. These aren't just any stone sculptures. We're talking about gargantuan heads, some weighing up to six tons, that once crowned 30-foot-high statues of gods and kings. Created in the first century BC, they're the legacy of King Antiochus I, a ruler with delusions of grandeur and a flair for the dramatic. Antiochus, presiding over a kingdom at the crossroads of civilizations, didn't do things by halves. His tomb sanctuary blended Greek and Persian deities in a divine mashup that would make mythology buffs heads spin. But here's the kicker. These massive monuments remained hidden for nearly two millennia. It wasn't until 1881 that a German explorer stumbled upon this surreal scene. Yet, the site kept a low profile until the 1950s, when it burst onto the world stage, capturing the imagination globally. Today, as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Mount Nemrut continues to baffle and inspire. How did ancient engineers manage to transport and erect these massive statues atop a 7,000-foot mountain? And why here, in this remote, inhospitable place? The stone heads of Mount Nemrut stand as silent sentinels, guarding the secrets of a forgotten kingdom. The Elusive Tomb of Cleopatra From courtroom drama to archaeological digs, Dr. Kathleen Martinez's life took an unexpected turn when she traded her legal briefs for a trowel. This modern-day Indiana Jones has set her sights on one of history's greatest mysteries, the final resting place of Cleopatra, Egypt's last great queen. Two millennia have passed since the legendary ruler was laid to rest in a secret location, her tomb becoming the holy grail of Egyptology. Dr. Martinez believes she's hot on the trail, focusing her search on Taposiris Magna, an ancient temple dedicated to the goddess Isis. Her excavations have already yielded tantalizing clues, coins bearing Cleopatra's regal visage and a network of subterranean tunnels hinting at hidden chambers. Despite skepticism from some corners of academia, Dr. Martinez remains undeterred, her passion for the hunt eclipsing the comforts of her former life. The stakes are astronomical. Unearthing Cleopatra's tomb would rival the discovery of Tutankhamun's burial chamber in 1922, instantly catapulting Dr. Martinez into the pantheon of great archaeologists. Yet even if the queen's final resting place remains elusive, Martinez's tireless efforts are expanding our understanding of ancient Egyptian culture and inspiring a new generation of historical sleuths. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.